Reggie here, your friendly neighborhood bodybuilder and comic book collector, and I want to welcome you to another one of my videos. This video is going to be a little bit of a poo-poo platter. And before you ask, a poo-poo platter is basically an assortment of things assembled that don't potentially go together, but they go together because it is a poo-poo platter. You can look up the spelling and the definition online. I think that I'm right about the definition, the spelling, all bets are off because I cannot spell all oh, well. <laughs> With that said, in this video, I am going to show you a bunch of stuff, a bunch of stuff that has shown up here at the house that is starting to accumulate a little bit. And I want to try to uh, share it in this video. And the very first thing that I'm actually going to show you is something that I purchased. It came from my buddy, Doug, a few weeks ago. He actually had a a garage sale at his house. He put up a preview of the books that were going to be available. I spotted one of the books that I have always wanted. I sent him a message and asked if I could actually buy it and he agreed to sell it to me. And uh, it, it arrived a while ago and it's just been kind of sitting here on the desk and now I'm gonna actually share it with you guys. I actually cut the outer packaging open. I have not looked beyond that, but I am now seeing that he put a note in here on a backing board. So I'm gonna try to remove that so that I can read this note and also save this note. Uh, let's see if I can, uh, blah, 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 blah. All right, cool. So it says, welcome to the East Coast, Reggie. I'm holding, I'm sorry, I'm hoping this is the first of many comics shipped to your new home in North Carolina. Enclosed is one great book you purchased plus an A-OK -okay that you may recognize my recent reggiecollects.com blog post or two i'd recommend sitting on this book for a while and then watching what hbo uh, max does with their game of thrones properties enjoy duggar blog and so if you guys don't know uh doug is a friend of mine he honestly is a friend of mine he writes a lot of content for reggiecollects.com uh, amazing thought-provoking blog posts and so if you guys are not reading uh his blog posts i definitely want to encourage you guys to uh to do that they the videos i'm sorry the blog posts come out every single uh wednesday if I don't forget, uh, at 7 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. So he has um, hooked this up with a little bubble wrap, and uh, I did not know it was this involved. I should not be surprised at all that he took the time to bundle this up carefully. So let me get this open, and I will show you guys what it is that I purchased, and then also the A-OK -okay that he sent over to me. So let's get this open, and uh, I will show you the contents. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. All right, so uh, let me show you the book that I purchased. And uh, this is a book. Uh, I'm not sure where, I can't remember the story behind where Doug actually got this book from, to be honest with you, but it is one that I thought was going to be in my 100K collection. I had the books before it, the books after it, uh, but not this book. So when I saw it, this was one that I had to get. It is Catwoman issue number 51, and this is just a fun, fun uh, Hughes cover right here that I've always, always wanted. So very cool book right here. Uh, I, I dig this one tremendously. I dig this one and I don't know why. I don't know why I dig it, but it's, it's just one of those covers that it speaks to you for some reason or another. And you just, you have to get it. And thankfully it wasn't terribly expensive. So, uh, for a cover by, I don't feel bad. I don't know that I've actually read any of this, uh, Adam Hughes Catwoman run, um, but maybe, maybe I will give it a read. And then the book that he sent over to me is actually from Dynamite, a Dynamite book. Uh, and I've actually been talking to the folks at Dynamite just a little bit. Uh, but this is a George R.R. R. Martin, uh, a Clash of Kings part two issue number six. And, uh, this is one of several books that Doug has actually written about on the blog post on ReggieCollects.com that he believes potentially has some, some value. And uh, again, as you heard from his letter that he sent me, uh, there is some possibility that HBO Max will do something. And as a result, books like Clash of Kings may actually uh, see an increase in value. 
So this next bundle here, I've actually already cut this one open a little bit. I probably, just like Doug's, I probably should have opened it up a little bit more. Uh, so you definitely have my apologies. But this one comes from my man, Victor. Uh, and Victor owns Gator Guard. And I've actually previewed Gator Guard here on the channel before. I actually did like a, um, like a product review of their cases. And uh, Victor and I touch base from time to time. He, he checks in with me. I send him a message occasionally, just kind of asking how things are going. And uh, he reached out to me. It had to have been eight months ago and asked me if I was interested in sending him one of my logos and I didn't ask a whole lot of questions uh, but I have a feeling that I know what he did with it but this is um, this is his thing right there one of the flyers and uh, as I held that up I saw that there was a note on the back it says Reggie hope you and the family are settling in well uh, we are only a state away so hope you make it up to Nashville Victor gator guard and he's got a nice little gator guard right there so very cool right there shout out to victor at gator guard and uh what he sent me <laughs> this is cool oh what he sent me let me see if i can get this open is one of his gator guard cases which i think is is an incredibly sturdy case for being able to uh display a raw comic and to give it a you know some physical protection uh what he put on here is and you probably will not be able to see it uh, i may have to take some photos it is a reggie collects engraved gator guard case and uh that that is pretty cool it actually turns out incredibly well so it has my font the font that you see everywhere whenever my name is up there and it, it says reggie collects your friendly neighborhood bodybuilder and on the back there's his gator guard um logo as well but this is really cool and one of the things that i actually took out of the package as i pulled it out was that he has these aluminum screws. You can actually buy uh, multicolored aluminum screws that basically secure the raw book in the four corners. And what's cool about it is that they come in lots of different colors, the aluminum screws do, and you can actually color coordinate the screws to, uh, to the book, to complement the book, to contrast the book, whatever your preference is. But they screw right into the four corners. And this thing, again, it's pretty thick. I don't know if you'll be able to see that very well, but it's pretty thick. It is definitely a sturdy case and uh, it looks pretty awesome anytime you get a chance to see your logo on something. So uh, shout out to Victor for hooking me up, man. This is this is awesome right here. So let me set that somewhere where it will not fall off the table. So one of the other things that I did, and I think most people know this, is I actually had an opportunity to interview one of the creators for excellence and the folks at at skybound actually facilitated me meeting up and doing this interview and it was it was a fun interview to be all to be honest with you and i'll try to put a link in the description not just to uh that interview uh with the creator or co-creator of excellence but also to victor's site as well um but if you haven't seen that video check that video it is it is a good one but in that, I actually backed one of their Kickstarter programs uh, for Excellence, and this is a uh, volume one of Excellence right here. This is, I think, what it is that I received for backing the uh, the campaign, and this contains um, issues one through six. I've read well beyond that, but this is, uh, you know, a, a bound copy of issues one through six and um i haven't really looked through it again because i've already read it uh technically a couple of times already uh but but really really cool i don't own many um many collected works so it was kind of cool to get this and what also came along with that and i i did not know this was actually this let me see if i can get it without shaking uh the camera here see if i can pick it up picked up a whole stack of them. It was a little bit of a surprise. It actually came in a diamond box, the the Excellence 1 through 6 bound, but it also came with a huge stack of other image books as well. I'm not going to go through all of these. I will highlight a couple like Birthright. I've actually read several issues of Birthright. It is really good. 
that's a really good series. Uh, Invincible, never really read this, but I know a, a lot of folks love that. Certainly love the um, the TV show that's out now. Have never read uh, Redneck. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about that one, to be honest with you. And there's Walking Dead in here, Firepower, which is another one that folks really love, and then Manifest Destiny. So those are just some of the bound copies that were or collected works that were actually sent to me. Uh, for supporting the Excellence Kickstarter program. So definitely a cool thing. Maybe we'll stick those in the background uh, back there. So the very last thing that I'll actually show you guys is one of roughly 150 books that I currently have at CGC waiting to get graded. And what they sent back to me, and, and actually pretty fast turnaround time because this book did not have to be pressed or anything like that because it is a foil cover comic. It actually came back relatively quick. Uh, fingers crossed for all of the other things. But this is a Dark Knight's Death Metal issue number six. I'm sorry, issue number seven. This is an embossed foil cover and this is uh, the cover appearance of Yara Floor. Yara Floor, the new Wonder Woman's cover appearance. As soon as I saw this book, I had to pick it up. Like the Catwoman book, I find this cover to be very, very striking. It speaks to me for whatever reason. Uh, I, I picked up two copies of this particular book. I sent one in, the one that had the shot at the 9.8, and sure enough, we were able to get it, but it is a really, really cool book. Uh, the book is cool. This movie, Wonder Woman uh, 1984, not so much. Not so much, but the book, definitely very cool. So there you have it. Uh, that is my poo-poo platter for the day, a, a nice assortment of stuff. And as I mentioned, I will try to put links in the description of this video so that you guys can check out some of the things that I've referenced over the course of this video. As always, if you need to reach out to me, feel free to do so on Instagram at Reggie Collects. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, I want to officially invite you to do so now. That way you can stay abreast of all the content that I release from the channel on a weekly basis. Take care.